Hi there and welcome to another video on faith and fitness and today I am out in my backyard for the first time I think probably having a coffee out in my patio the first time this spring. Okay so it's still cold. <laughs> I've got my parka on, I've got my blanket here but I am just going to tell you that I love to get out in my backyard as soon as I can. I've got blue sky, the sun is shining in the background and I love to take myself out here and just ponder. I love to meditate out here and use all my senses. I like to feel the wind on my face. I like to hear the birds. I like to feel the ground beneath me. And I can hear the wind as well, or I can hear the rustling of the, the branches because it's blowing. I, and there's different sights. I get to see the birds. Often I get to see the deer in my backyard. And as soon as it's nice enough, I see the flowers and enjoy the warmth. But again, I like to use all my senses. It's touch, taste. Sometimes right now I'm drinking my coffee out here. So it's touch, taste, sight, smelling and hearing. Use all your five senses. Get out in nature and really do some self-love. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about self-love and what does self-love have to do with anything? What does it have to do with Christian weight loss? What does it have to do with faith and fitness? Well, I believe it has everything to do with faith and fitness and with weight loss. So here's why. There are kind of two representations of self-love. Uh, there's the egotistical one, which is where people think self-love means vanity. And I don't believe self-love has anything to do with that. Yes, there can be a, a, you know, where you're too vain and you're just all wrapped up in yourself to look good and to make yourself strut around. That's not what I'm talking about here when I'm talking about self-love. I'm talking about the basic human need for self-love in order to take full advantage of living your best life and being happy. There's a big difference. To me, self-love and keeping up on your mental wellness, enjoying living a happy, healthy life is really important. And so I believe that you and I need to work on our self-love. Why? Because it's so easy, especially as women, to neglect ourselves. It's so easy to love on everyone else, to take care and nurture everyone else, like your, your husband or maybe your partner or your family or your grandchildren or your neighbors. We wanna look after everyone else if that's how we've been brought up or that's how we've been taught as a little child. Sometimes the way we've been brought up or the way we've been taught to take care of everyone else before our own sake or our own self has hurt us in some way because it's still important to love on yourself if you don't take care of you if you don't take care of yourself how can you care for anyone else it's really like when you're on an airplane and the flight attendant says you need to put on your own oxygen mask before you help the person beside you you also need to take care of yourself first so that you can love on everyone else which means doing the right things for your body so that you're happy you know you might not like exercising, but if you know that it's important for living a happy, healthy life, then you will do it for your own health. You will do it for your own self-love, despite whether you like it or not. Now, I encourage you to exercise. I encourage you to get out and walk, get out in nature, or do something that you love. If it's swimming, go swimming. If it's riding a bike, go riding a bike. If it's playing tennis, go play tennis. If it's walking, go and walk. If it's running a marathon, go run a marathon. If it's playing in a sports you know, team, um, in a rec team, go do it. Find a place where you can do all that, but do what you love to do. It makes it much more fun and easier to exercise if you're doing what you love. Like if you hate lifting weights, do something different. Try calisthenics. Try lifting your own body weight. Maybe that will be fun for you. But get the point. Do something for yourself, for self-love, because that's actually loving on yourself. Exercising, working your muscles so that you stay strong and healthy because that is a huge aspect to building your immune system, to working on yourself, to loving yourself. 
So there's the fitness is a huge aspect. Another way to self-love is to put the right foods in your body. You know, maybe some of the foods that you're gonna go and buy are a little more expensive than some of the processed crap. That's called loving on yourself. It's called self-love because you're putting the better things into your body. That's what self-love is. Taking care of you, nurturing yourself, loving on yourself. So put the right nutrition in your body and that's taking care of you. So there's fitness, there's nutrition, there's being accountable. Being accountable to someone is nurturing yourself. It means that you're working on yourself and keeping yourself accountable so that you do the right things. So accountability is part of self-love. I hope you're enjoying this because it's all about living a happy, healthy life together. And the last part of it is renewing your mind each and every day, not every other day, not one day a week. No, it's renewing your mind every single day for self-love. In fact, the Bible commands us to renew our minds, to think on good things, to meditate on good things. So you can meditate on the scripture, you can meditate on good quotes, you can meditate on songs, you can meditate out in nature, you can reflect, you can memorize poems or scripture or quotes or read a good book and meditate on what you're reading. Think on good things and that is another aspect of self-love. So what are you doing for self-love today? Are you thinking that it's only vain and vanity? The, egotis the egotistical type of self-love? Or are you actually loving on yourself in a healthy way so that you can live a happy, healthy life, which is a real necessity? It's a need today. I hope you're doing the latter. I hope you're working on your self-love and taking care of you. I believe in you. So I hope you start nurturing yourself. Do some self-love. If you haven't done it today, do it now. Don't put it off. Don't procrastinate. In fact, go and get a pen and mark a 10 minute time on your calendar, even if it's only 10 minutes. I love the 10, 10, 10 plan. That's 10 minute bursts of madness or 10 minute bursts of exercise, as I call it. 10 minute bursts of meditation or renewing your mind. And the 10 days of eating on my meal plan in the Way Down Lifestyle. If you haven't already, please click the button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I, in the comments, in the text, I talk about my plan so you can go and check it out. See you soon. Work on your self-love today. I believe in you. Bye for now.